About 10 months ago, I made a video about what Atari meant to me and my family. I revisited the Atari Lynx, explored the 2600 and bought a 600 XL mainly for my mother to get reacquainted with her old console. The Atari 600 XL is an 8-bit home computer. The 600 and 800 XL would allow you to program your own programs and games using BASIC. It also had a cartridge slot to load and play games directly and it was compatible with a lot of peripherals and controllers. You have the Atari 1010 for example which is a cassette deck meant to save information on cassettes or load programs from a cassette to the home computer itself. It's a fascinating system from a fascinating time but the problem was I didn't get it to work properly. There was a problem with the cartridge slot, or so I thought. It turned out I just didn't apply enough force when inserting the card itself, fearing I might break something. I finally got to play games like Donkey Kong, which looks a bit different on the XL in comparison to the NES, but not that much worse. I mentioned a lot of peripherals and controllers being available for the device and mainly want to focus on one such controller, the pedal controller. I managed to find Super Breakout and I soon found out that no controller I had was compatible. I considered the Hyperkin Ranger for a moment, but wanted a more authentic experience. Checking daily online, it seemed like no one ever sold these, until I got lucky and found a pair in great condition. Super Breakout, just like Pong or a game like Warlords or Tempest, are meant to be played with a turning wheel. By turning it fast with your wrist, it allows you to cover longer distances in a short amount of time. This way you get more precision from your pedal, even getting those impossible to get to boss. Breakout is simple, but so much fun. I used to play Arkanoid on PC a lot when I was a kid, and although I may prefer that game for its power-ups, you can beat the authentic experience of playing an old game the way it was supposed to. I have a lot of consoles, but none offer the possibility to play this simple game in this simple but correct manner. I'm looking forward to discovering more games that can be played with the pedal controller. Baby, you're looking real good. You know, you're looking real good. You make the day you sound like a new year. I have an old 2600 joystick, two 7800 controllers, a flight stick, but aside from that flight stick you really can tell their age. Because they were not as responsive as they used to be, I searched online for an alternative 2600 controller to be used with most common games. They are also compatible with the 600 XL. I found one on Amazon for a good price with a cool feature. It has micro switches in it. One game I took a gamble on to expand the XL's library is Moon Patrol. This game is a very fun side-scrolling shooter with obstacles you have to jump over. You control a moon rover of some sorts and the fun thing is you can slow it down or speed it up to dodge projectiles, get in a better firing position or get a better time finishing the level. The 2600 controller with the micro switches was perfect for this game because of the feedback you can feel in the joystick when you slow down or speed up. I'm not talking about a rumble feature or anything, but a connection between your hand and brain when the click of the micro switch confirms your action, if that makes any sense. By just applying a little bit more force to the cartridge slot, I basically have a whole new console to explore. A console which offers something different in styles of play. Try out Star Raiders with a joystick for example, a very early 3D space shooter simulator. It may not look like much now, but back then, these things really sparked the imagination. It's a very fun and almost niche thing to collect for Atari these days, especially the XL computers. If you search on our Dutch marketplace for example you get one page of results. There's just not a whole lot of Atari XL stuff out there. It's not like selling certain Pokemon or Nintendo products. You have to make do with what's on offer but you also do not have to concern yourself with the vultures or scalpers. It's a quiet realm to be in and I like it that way. In the future I will look to showcase how the Atari 1010 cassette deck works, write a program in BASIC of course, and expand my search for more Excel games. Working with Atari products and writing about them has a feeling of belonging to it. I hope as an Atari collector to open more doors to the past in the future. And please someone, just sell me your Jaguar.
You know you hate it. Come on. Stay shining, guys. Mm-hmm.